My name's uh, Tegan Davey. Uh, I grew up on a farm, my granddad's farm, uh, near the Stirling Ranges. I'm currently studying, um, my, I'm doing my, completing my PhD in mangrove ecology at the University of Western Australia. I started practicing Falun Gong when I started doing my PhD about five years ago to help me with uh, stress and in order to relax during my studies and I found it really helped me um, a lot to be able to focus and have a clear mind to be able to work productively on my PhD. by the hair and flung to the ground and kicked by police officers and her daughter who was seven months pregnant at the time was also um, pulled by the hair and she was being kicked as well even though she was pregnant. Yeah when I met Tian she reminded me of my own grandmother. I wondered how, um, how the Chinese government could be threatened by somebody like that. They're so brave and courageous. I um, often, you know, am a bit scared of doing even small things. <laughs> I have a lot of fear, but I see um, in a lot of the people that come from China, they, they almost have no fear in their heart. And I think that's something really admirable. She, she doesn't she's lost the fear and that's possibly why the um, Chinese government was afraid of them. I feel a responsibility to share her story because Tian can't speak English but I can share her story for her. When we went on a car tour around southwest of Western Australia so it's a couple of thousand kilometers that we drove and we approached media organizations and told them about uh, the persecution in China. I'd really like to keep spreading Tian's story um, about what she's been through until the persecution ends in China.